Hello, um, welcome to um, an update from of the channel for a late August, let's put it that way. Um, there's it today, 27th today, and it's half nine in the morning. It's be beautiful British summer's day actually, it makes a change from all the rain with that. So, uh, what's Talk about what's been going on then. Well, um, I haven't really um, done a lot of pro like finished some projects um, off lately. That's mainly because um, I've been extremely busy with other things. Uh, one of the main things was that I uh, went on a holiday to Northumberland for a bit. And that was that was really nice for the family. Um, you know me, be a landscape and artist thing. <laughs> I like scenery. Uh, I got some nice photo shots for the, uh, you know, just hobby. And including, including the dog loved it. And the second time on the beach, she like couldn't get enough of it. Just kept on digging. Right. That's that. That's one reason why I haven't been getting a lot of projects done. Uh, another thing is that today's Thursday, so it might be uploaded later tonight. So Wednesday, um, if you're watching this slowly, I passed my driving test. Yes, um, first one, and only got one minor. So that was really, really good of me. Uh, I thought I'd failed on one occasion when. Stupid bloke in a Range Rover pulled out in front of me, which I was not happy about, but remained calm. If the exam wasn't there, I would have said something back. That's where where I've been. I've uh, been busy doing that um, job. Bit of, just a bit of paper. Uh, just looking around for other jobs and that to do. So. Um, what now to do? Let's talk about um, models now. That got out of the way. Uh, modeling stuff is that. Um, is there any new models you purchased? Um, the answer is no. No, I have not purchased any models whatsoever this month. Uh, this is a new record for me. <laughs> I've actually go a month not buying anything. So yeah. Uh what the only thing I've bought is some gold leaf paint and um, I was other old gold scrap and wood deck tan for the you Akagi's know, deck here. Which is actually in the process at the minute. Now that's the thing, um one of the things I want to say is I um, I didn't buy any models this month because uh, one I was busy and two I was a bit short on what I wanted. But uh, the thing is, when I was in Edinburgh and off on a holiday, uh, one of the models I went to, and I'm quite honest, I was a bit disappointed because it was a model shop and it was full of models that anyone could jump at the chance at. It was brilliant, but. However, I wanted, I've been saving up for this model, um, this model actually, uh, like I said before, and I've been saving up for it so long, and it was on my website, and I got there, and they said it wasn't in stock, so that kind of really annoyed me, and because I was so fixated on that subject, I forgot about the other stuff, and now I'm really regretting it. Because, I, I think it was just because I was so angry at this point, because, well, I shouldn't say, that sounds a bit sad saying so angry, but no, I was just um, a bit annoyed, let's say, because I've been saving up for a long time, and I had the chance, and I didn't get it. So, ah, best thing is to keep looking online and for it. I found some nice ones on eBay, but still not enough for it. So, that's that out of the way with what um, purchases, none. Uh, oh, hold on a second. 
tell a lie down here. Uh, this kit um, was given to me to um, by my local hobby shop owner, along along with uh, some other. Just made that. Uh, I got. Um, well, she she gave it to me. Um, it cost thirty two pound. I looks of it from online, I think. But it was. This is a present for her husband, and she's asked me to build it as well as review it for you guys um, on YouTube. So, I say that this is a brand new kit from Italy, and it's really, really nice, but very out of my comfort zone as it's um, the Parthenon in Athens in the Roman Empire. Uh, just by looking at the detail inside, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it's a brand new kit from Italy. It was so brand new I didn't even hear of it, so I had to Google it. And no one's done a review of this. So it gives you a nice reference detail book with everything inside of how to build it and nice 3D models. Um, nice like screening. The only problem is, is the colours. Now, these colours are going to be absolutely annoying. These are. There's two that are virtually set. I think Italy have. Um, kind of a bit messed up on the colours. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Um, one hour later and I couldn't return. So as I was saying, yes, this is um, going to be an interesting build to do. It's very, very, very out of my comfort zone, let's put it that way. Uh, Parfait on is it? I can't remember. But however, it's nice plastic, nice box comes with. But the price, thirty two pound, is a lot for a kit like that. I think. So we got that. So what projects are we looking at? Well, I've got the Ju eighty eight over here. Um, I've done some more of it in the cockpit. I've got the rear gunner section. Uh, the glass panels masked up as well. Um, I don't have any masking tape at the minute. Um, I haven't been able to get any. You know the background. So uh, I've had to use um, duct tape, which is actually really all right. I've used it before with masking, and it works all right. It's well, it's not duct tape. It's parcel tape actually. Sorry. Um, yeah, difference between duct tape and anything else. So, I just said, how come whenever I start a video they start talking? So just watching your TV program, isn't it? You know, you have some family and friends over there. No, you see. Um, everyone starts talking when you're watching the TV, and then when you're not watching, and you know, the updates come on, so we're boring, and so no one says anything. So. Yeah. Anyway, the cockpit looks really nice. Uh, I've done this out of the box, so everything's going to be well, out of the box. So, um, problems so far. Um, the f these f push out of the way. The flaps at the end of this thing are very difficult to progress because they're not glued to the actual wings themselves. They're glued by the uh, these airframe parts and these eight, the control surfaces and stuff like that, and then you've got to fit them between the landing gear part, which they did actually go into. Um, at this minute in time, by the time you've glued them there, they look like they've progressed to the combat, but that's that's all right. But however, I did say I wanted the flaps in that vertical um, part, I presume. Not fully parked at like 90 degrees, but just parked enough to slow the aircraft down. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the door, the hatch shape on the bottom so you can see the detail. Um, what else? I did say my sub I'm not going to use um, any seat belt silences because, let's say, you won't see it once the canopy is on and anything else like that. So that's. Um, working on for the Battle of Britain group build. Uh, another thing is that um, I've got some parts to do for another model kit. Uh, this is my father's project. 
I say fathers, I mean I'm building it myself. Um, it's the LA Fire Department recovery truck from, again, it's a Leary. But however, it's Leary do do good um, truck kits as we speak. Um, they've done really nice kits and everything else like that. And the detail in them is really, really nice. So that's um, progress where I get a bit. Now, the, as far as the Akagi uh, goes through, um, I'm really, really pleased with that at the minute. Um, you can't see it. Let me let me get into a shot. Let me get into a shot where you can see it. I guess. Zoom in a bit. There you go. There she is. Um, this is this is a problem with building ships. They're so so massive. You have trouble moving them around. So there, there she is. Anyway, so there you go. So the flight deck isn't glued on at this minute. It's still uh, loose. I've still got a lot to do to it. I've got to do the hack the the elevator parts and the um, paintwork on the top. Now that's going to take a very long time to do. So I'm going to progress that whenever I feel like it. But um, this ain't going to be put on until A, it's done, and B, these back sections are done here. And then I'll be rigging on lifeboats, like I say. Uh, I know most of you have been wanting to see this being um, placed on. So I'm going to do a full video on that for you guys. Um, if you're waiting. Now. What else is uh, uh Yeah, that's that. The I'm say I'm really impressed with this kit. Even you know, it's an old Hasegawa kit, and it's um, it's a shame it's not the 135th one. It's the 140, 145th one. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's, that, that's a big shame because I found some other nice um, ship IGN ships that. I was interested in, but like I say, that's my price wise in a minute. So that's that done. Um, I've progressed with um, some test builds of the aircraft. Um, I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to zoom you out on this. Now, the aircraft we're saying about are these little um, planes. That's an A6M0 with. <laughs> I don't know where you can see that detail. I need to get a better camera or something. That's the A6M0 with all its detail on. you then got the Nakajima um, B5N2 KT for you guys. That's very, very small. You can tell uh, there's, there's most of them aircraft as the torpedo bombers. I'm still working on the VAL. Wait a minute. Uh, these are every test builds. But and there's, there's actually pretty a lot to do, and they're so, so tiny now, and so well detailed. Right, let's turn you back. I don't talk about the... Let's try that. So talk about the um, Nakajima B5N2. Um, I'm not sure whether to get the Hasegawa 148 one, or get the new Airfix one that's um, just been released. That's going to be very fun because there's a lot of detail in that kit and it looks very nice. Um, hopefully they should have that on sale at Telford so I'm going to just go along and get that. I also want to get the um, the new Hanker 111 from Airfix. Um, the one in the pit in the box art pictures from a film uh, called Into the White um, it's based on a true film where um, the crew of a Hanker while was shot down, but all of a sudden the Progress shot down another British aircraft, and they end up crashing and um, surviving each other in Norway. And so I'm going to do a snow-based crash diorama of the Hankel. Um The British aircraft, I think, was a skewer, so um, I don't know many skewer kits. So that's that's on my bucket list at that minute. 
Uh, another thing about um, Telford is that there's going to be some of these I'm going to be doing. So these down here. Um, talking about, like I said, talking about Telford. Uh, I've got these photo frames. As you can see, one of them's got um, a typhoon in it at the minute. Um, these are going to be what I'm going to be selling. Go be selling at Telford, um, like under the table and stuff like that. Um, this is just a test subject, so I don't think I'll do sketches. I think I'll do like, ink drawings and maybe some coloured, some not. But um, that's going to be, they're going to be done. There's going to be two different ones there's these and these. I've got a fair few of them actually. I just picked them up and found them. Um, for our charity shop for all for the whole lot for a pound, so they're going to be on sale for that very, very low prices. Probably about like 50 pence to a pound, maybe two pounds each, probably. Forget about that. Uh, do 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 do. What else is there? Mm, uh, that's really it. Yep, yeah, that's really it for uh, an update. Um, oh, just for I say before I go, um, these drawings. If you want, if you're g going to Telford, and you like one of my drawings, then tell me, and um, you know, just come and come and see me if you want. Um, you know, like just request anything and. I'll save it for you, and then you can. I can just get and give you it, or you know whatever. So there you go. Uh, that's that's really it for an August update, guys. Uh, uh, like I said, I've got Battle of Britain group build and all this down here. Um, everything's going all right. So uh, just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you with some more videos of the uh, Kagi and the. Valorant and Great Build, and I shall see you and speak to you all later. So, thank you for watching, take care, happy modeling, and bye for now.